the sun has just appeared, penetrating the clouds and lighting up the sea. Against a backdrop of islands on the horizon, ships glide over the waves. This is Hong Kong, China. With its many tall buildings and dense population, this prosperous, thriving free port is an international metropolis. But there's more to this bustling, vibrant city. Actually, the area inhabited by humans accounts for only a quarter of its territory. With its more than 200 islands and 70% forest coverage, Hong Kong is an ecological paradise. This is a young black-faced spoonbill. It arrived in the autumn, flying from the Liaodong Peninsula to spend the winter here. The environment is just as comfortable as its distant birthplace. The wetland here is now its second home. Apparently, it doesn't have a care in the world. This mangrove forest lies in the northernmost part of Hong Kong. The 300 hectare green corridor links the city with Shenzhen. Here, where sea and river merge, the mangrove shrubs and small trees intermingle. Such biodiversity creates a haven for migratory birds and offers an ideal home for visitors. With the approach of the breeding season, the spoonbill's parents enjoy some intimacy. Long-time companionship has mellowed them. They understand each other instinctively and silently go about hunting for food. Such is the nature of these noble, mysterious birds. The adults are taking on a new look. They develop a plume crest and yellow neck ring for the breeding season. This is a proud moment. The chick is still a youngster. It has just sprouted a wispy plume crest. Its natural curiosity compels it to explore the wetland. Creatures hopping on the beaches catch its eye. These elusive fish are called mud skippers. Few marine species are able to enjoy the mud skippers' relaxed lifestyle. They can stroll, sunbathe, and do it on land. Special gills allow them to make new friends away from the water. 
fiddler crabs are another cave-dwelling species. The males boast an outsized pincer, which is brandished like a warrior shield and serves as a badge of their virility. species, the spoonbills appear to be the most industrious. They're constantly storing up energy. This is essential if they're to return to their breeding ground. The flat spoon-shaped bill blends itself to a distinctive feeding technique. The parents are highly skilled users. No prey can escape their keen sense of touch. Not even the tiniest minnows and shrimps. After a satisfying meal, the spoonbills are having a grooming session. Enclosing their bills with their wings, they stand on one leg. The elegant posture presents a pleasing sight on the wetland. The chick isn't ready for bedtime yet. It opts for a postprandial stroll. The silent beach seems rather dull. But then, a young egret appears. Here's someone who could be a playmate. The arrival of a friend makes the adventure more exciting. the spoonbill family, the black-faced species is the most endangered. As guests here, they're under special protection. Like good neighbors, the egrets and spoonbills enjoy their time together. are preparing to head north. Friends and relatives are summoned to assemble for the upcoming journey. all urge them to stay. But even the best friends must part. They have to say goodbye now. 
The chick gazes around, committing the scene to memory. next autumn. The rainfall is increasing. Rural Landau in Hong Kong's southwest is crisscrossed with swelling streams. In a depression where rainwater has gathered, a tadpole is waking up to life. This is a Romer's tree frog, a species unique to Hong Kong. It's the smallest tree frog in China. An adult measures no more than a segment of a human finger. Over the next six weeks, if it's to survive, it must complete its metamorphosis. The secret is to dig in. With not a scrap of food wasted, finally the little frog's efforts are rewarded. Complete with all four limbs, the little frog enters a new stage of development. Now, it will face an even bigger challenge. Despite still having the remnants of a tail, it's now recognized as an adult. But there's no time to waste. Let's go. The journey is quite relaxing. It takes regular breaks to nap in the trees. The only disturbance comes from the noisy passers-by. The frog is fascinated by the landscape. The Camellia crapneliana are especially eye-catching. Their fruit is the biggest of all the camellias. The seeds need to be spread safely on the ground. But of course, a few fruits are impatient. A climbing shrub called Hong Kong Eagle's Claw is found nearby. Using the hooks on its stalks, the plant clambers upward to get more sunlight. It's the flowering season, and the petals are out. The fragrance resembling pineapple is a fatal attraction for insects. The blue tiger butterflies are courting, but first they need to boost their pH values in order to make themselves more attractive. tree frog is distracted and fails to sense the imminent danger. A Hong Kong newt has been eyeing up his prey and is closing in to secure his next meal.
The frog's life hangs by a thread. Its survival instinct is about to be tested. Thankfully, it notices just in time and escapes. The newt is left disappointed. Hong Kong is surrounded by sea. Fresh water is a vital resource. The Kowloon Reservoir is a feature of local water conservancy efforts. It's a vital source of fresh water for the city. The East River originates in Guangdong. This symbol of maternal love provides a continuous supply of drinking water. The rhesus macaques on the banks share the water with the humans. The head monkey's youngest son is restless. He has to keep himself amused. There's no special treatment for a little prince. His mother is one of the chief's many wives. The little prince loves to play. His close family provide a sense of security, but he must learn to get along with the rest of the clan. From individual rank to respect between old and young, everything can be conveyed by one's grooming. Being naughty is what he's good at. And there's always Big Brother to clean up. But now, even he has run out of patience. Mother, though, is always ready to forgive. The monkey colony share the reservoir with the human population, but the macaques aren't native to the area. They were introduced here just a century ago. They feed on the strychnos plants around the reservoir. So no poisonous seeds fall into the water and contaminate it. Because of this, the coming of the macaques is part of local folklore. When it comes to food, the macaques enjoy a varied diet. But popular dishes like leaves, twigs, and the fruits don't appeal to the little prince. He prefers to sit among the branches of the shima and feast on the flower buds. Cool. 
The little prince's aunt has just given birth. It's a baby girl. The infant clings to her mother. She'll grow up under mom's tender, loving care. The baby, while eager to explore the world, is also reluctant to leave her mother's arms. The aunt is a first-time mother, and these moments with her daughter are precious. She never lets the little girl out of her sight. This is the High Island Reservoir in Seikang, on the edge of the South China Sea. It's home to a geological wonder, Ho Pin Chow. The small island is covered with volcanic columns, there are 200,000 of them exposed above the ground. One hundred million years of geological evolution and the relentless pounding of wind and waves have eaten away at the island. Whole columns have collapsed into the sea. Inhospitable to humans, the island occasionally plays host to passing eagles. Fish are a good source of energy for a predator. But the eagles need more sustenance for their flight to a distant shore. The young ones, to release their excess energy, require nothing more than a pool. Cocks love to splash in the water. The sight of the eagles causes panic. The sentry has sounded the alarm. Playmates have no time to take cover. They have to confront the intruders. The battle is fierce, and the law of the jungle is merciless. The eagle could never have imagined that it might meet a watery end. Some of the macaques are seriously wounded. It's not certain they will survive. A 
eventually, the macaques calm down. But misfortune still haunts them. During the crisis a couple of days ago, the ant's baby was killed. The young mother can't accept her loss. So she continues to groom her little girl's fur and tries to wake her with kisses. Desperately, she hopes her baby will open her eyes and look at her again. All her family can do is keep her company and try to console her. Clouds have lifted, and it's sunny again. Chinese white dolphins are riding the waves. They are the beautiful people of the sea. gray one is a newborn. It's still a novice at navigating the waves. The group provide protection and help the young one practice and learn. It won't be long before it takes on a pink hue and begins asserting itself in the waters here. set in water. It's constantly being invigorated by new life. Thus does Mother Nature nurture Hong Kong. 